This is the Ulanzi TT38. It's a tabletop tripod that they like to call the vlog pod. I'm not gonna call it that. <laughs> It has a bunch of features that'll help you create content in an easy and fun way. And before we get started, I want to thank Yulanzi for sending me the TT38 to check out and review. Let's just go ahead and start with a standout feature of this tripod. It's one click transformation system. By pushing this button here, it rapidly deploys a leg to instantly switch this from handheld mode to tripod mode. This quick transition is perfect for vloggers and product reviewers that need to adapt to different filming situations. You can walk around talking to the camera and then with the click of a button, you can easily set your camera down. This is useful because a lot of the time when I'm out and reviewing gear, my hands are usually holding something. With this, I can just quickly set it down and then show off what's in my hands. Or if I'm vlogging and at the store or something, I can quickly set this down to show off how awesome I am. <laughs> on other tripods like this, I usually have to use both hands to open it up. And it can get difficult sometimes, especially when my hands are full. We'll do a comparison with a PGY Tech Mantis Pod later. There's silicone pads on the feet so you don't have to worry about it slipping around. Say you do happen to knock into one of the legs though, it does a pretty good job at staying up, so I'm definitely not worried about the legs on this tripod. One small problem with this though is if you're a lefty. So yeah, just don't be. <laughs> While we're talking about the legs of this tripod, under the main grip here is a retractable hook that you can use to hang on fences, walls, doors, or pretty much anywhere that you can hook it onto. The hook is a little thinner than I would like it to be, but I haven't had any issues with it. I've even used it to hang my full frame camera with a cage and my heavy lens on it. Not gonna lie though, I did break a sweat leaving this to hang, but it was fine. fine. Of course when you switch modes you're gonna have to adjust the camera, so it has an integrated ball head to tilt and adjust your camera to the angle that you need. You just turn this knob and you can even switch between horizontal and vertical shooting. There's another knob here that gives you 360 degree pan. I like to use it to get those smooth panning shots. On the other side here is a cold shoe so that you can attach accessories like a light or microphone. Just tighten it into place and you can even rotate it if you need to. I love how they designed this because it moves with the ball head. I know I said we'll compare them later, but I hate the cold shoe mount on the PGY Tech Mantis Pod. I'm always adjusting my camera in different angles, but when I do it with the Mantis Pod, whatever's in the cold shoe, usually my mic, it ends up pointing in the wrong direction. Yeah, sure I could just quickly adjust it, but it should just move with the camera. Like why would I want my mic or light attachment pointing in a different direction? As you can see, I'm very passionate about cold shoes. <laughs> so this tripod uses a quick release system that's compatible with Yulanti's Yuka and F38 quick release plates. It does come with a Yuka plate by the way. This is great if you're already in that ecosystem. I unfortunately am not. <laughs> so this system is not compatible with Arca Swiss plates. I've been using the PGY Tech system which uses their snap lock plates which is Arca Swiss compatible and they will not fit on this tripod. I used to use Peak Design and I still have the dual plates for it and those definitely will not work on this tripod. I don't have the regular Peak Design plates but I imagine that those won't work either. I wish this clamp was replaceable so that I could stay with my PGY Tech plates but it isn't. I did find a workaround though. PGY Tech makes a quick release clamp that I could attach to the Yulanzi TT38. I have to attach a Yuka plate to the bottom of it and there you go. It's kind of janky, but it works. In case you were wondering, the Yuka plate kind of works on the PGY Tech Beetle Clip. It doesn't lock into place, but it will hold, which is fine when it's on my backpack strap. It does work on the PGY Tech quick release clamps though, with no issues. It also works on the version 3 Peak Design capture clips and actually does lock into place. It also works fine on my Peak Design tripod, which I usually bring with me when I'm traveling. So technically, I don't need to fully switch systems. I could just pick up a couple more Yuka plates and be fine. Oh yeah, you can lock the plate into place with this switch here to prevent it from accidentally coming off. It's made of ABS plastic and features a non-slip silicone grip that makes it super comfortable to hold, even during long hours of shooting. Yulanzi says that it can handle up to 3 kilograms of gear or 6.6 .6 pounds, so it can handle most setups. Alright, so let's compare it with the PGY Tech Mantis Pod. They actually have different variations of this tripod, but the one that I have and use all the time is the Mantis Pod Pro. I love this thing and when I'm out, my camera is always attached to it. I mainly use it as a carry handle so that I don't have to put my camera in my bag. I'm always ready to get the shot. This thing is almost triple the price of the Yulazi TT38 though, but it does have some features that the TT38 doesn't have. First off, the legs are much more adjustable. I can get lower with the Mantis Pod. With the Pro, I can also move the ball head to give myself even more reach with it. I actually have never used that function, but yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Near the hook is a spot for a cell phone holder, which you can use directly on the mount. Speaking of which, the mount can accept more plates since it's Arca Swiss compatible. 
There's a big button here on the side that I always use so that I can quickly change angles, which is really nice. On the Yulanzi, you'll have to adjust the ball head every time, but it's much more intuitive than the ball head on the Mantispot Pro. On the Yulanzi, you just have one knob to get your camera to the angle that you need, especially when you go into Mantis mode. The PGY Tech, you have to adjust a few things in order to get the right angle. I've been using this thing for years and I still get confused trying to use it. The legs you have to manually open up, which isn't as quick and easy as it is on the TT38. And when it's opened up, the Mantis Pod is nowhere near as comfortable to hold as the TT38. The Yulanzi keeps its comfortable grip whether the legs are deployed or not. Now is the Mantis Pod Pro worth triple the price of the Yulanzi? I think it's all subjective. I've been using this thing for years and I'm more than happy with the $150 that I spent on it. I actually wouldn't mind if I had to buy this thing again. The Yulanzi TT38 comes at a much lower price point and I would be just as happy if I was using this. The way the legs just quickly open up makes it so easy to use. Because I know a lot of times when I'm fumbling around and need to put my camera down, I can't be bothered to open up the legs, so I'll just set it on its side. With the Yulanzi, I can have more peace of mind with my carelessness. <laughs> There are so many ways that you can use this tripod. From handheld mode, to tripod mode, flip it upside down and you got a top handle to get those low angle shots. Your footage will be upside down, but that's easy to fix in post. And then you also have that mantis mode, so you can mount your camera pretty much anywhere. <laughs> this is a great tripod that I'm definitely gonna be using a lot. Fine, this is pretty much the perfect vlog pod. <laughs> See ya.